Hi, my name is Toby from TT Pumps and today I'm going to talk to you about how to use a conversion kit on a Liberator and Puddle Pal. Before you start, please make sure that you're both electrically and mechanically qualified for this job. You must also make sure that all power to the pump is turned off and the correct PPE is worn. Here we have the Liberator and Puddle Pal, as well as the conversion kits to swap them to either models. You will also need at hand the components and the pins which are supplied with the conversion kit as well as a spinner and a 10mm spanner. First of all we start off with the Liberator, which is a standard drainage pump, and just turn it on its side. We then need to untighten the pins here at the bottom using the spanner, and then take them out using the spinner in order to take the base off. Once we have taken the strainer off, you will see the volute housing around the impeller. To take this off, simply unscrew the three pins. This is the inner housing, which is made from rubble wear resistant material. From here, we put the pump into a vertical position and put the collar from the conversion kit around it and place the base in position. Using the three pins, screw them in into place and tighten to ensure the base is secured. If they aren't securely tightened, you might get air leaks and it might not run correctly. However, try not to over tighten them as this might damage the casing. So here we have one Liberator with a new conversion kit that has been turned into the Puddle Pal. We'll now do exactly the same with the Puddle Pal. Again, start by turning it on its side. If you choose to unscrew the pins in an upright position, please be careful not to damage the power cable. So, just loosen the pins with the spanner and take them out using the spinner. Put them to one side and take off the base. Then take the inner casing from the conversion kit and place it on top. Take the longer pins and drop them into the slightly bigger holes and tighten them up. Again, ensuring they are securely tightened with the spanner. The next step is to take the strainer and place it over the top and screw in the smaller pins into the holes underneath. Again, just use the spanner to make sure they're tight. And there you go. We have the Puddle Pal converted into the Liberator using the conversion kit. The kits make it easy for you to convert an existing stock model pump from either model on or off site. I hope this has helped and provided you with the useful advice on how to convert a Liberator to a Puddle Pal and vice versa using our conversion kit. If you need any further information, please don't hesitate to call us on 01630 647 200 or view our range online using the links below.